let's see if we can do a weekly grocery shop at home bargains there's some amazing offers here do you see any food here she's being seduced by another offer yes i yeah she almost seemed disappointed there What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From sunny London, where, as you will remember, we brought the sun back from Barbados. You are welcome. That was difficult taking that through customs, wasn't it? Yes, guys. Where in the world are you guys coming live but not live from? Where are you right now? Comment below. Yes, we love hearing from you guys. This connection we've always had with you, Free Gang, in the comments. Keep it going, let's keep it flying, let's keep connecting. So, since being back, guys, we have not done a shop. We have not done a proper shop. We've gone and bought bits and pieces bits and to just, just to tide us over. So today we thought, right, we need to do a proper weekly shop. That can mean only one thing. Today we are doing a shopping video. We love doing shopping videos. These are actually, I think, probably one of our favorites to do. If it's bringing food in, I'm always happy. But also we thought, actually, let's try something we haven't done before. Let's try and find somewhere that we haven't done a weekly shop at before. Let's call it a shopping video with a twist. And as you may have noticed, guys, in the last year or so, one of our favorite places for shopping challenges has become home bargains and what we've noticed in Guyane they do actually have a whole section dedicated to food it's not like known for doing food most people wouldn't go there and do their grocery shopping no but we're not most people yeah so we thought let's actually put it to the test let's see if we can do a weekly grocery shop at home bargains also let's put it to the test it's in the name bargains the least we've spent before on a weekly shop is 30 pounds we've done it in a couple of places now if it's true to the name can we do that can we get a weekly shop there and can we do it for under 30 pounds so yeah it's a weekly shop so it includes breakfast lunch and dinner and our budget is a 30 pounds right let's put it to the test okay we're here guys at home bargains do you want to get a trolley jojo um sure you're excited for this one, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Jojo loves this shop. He, well. lo he loves a good old food shopping challenge too. A Lego shopping challenge. We're not doing that today though. <laughs> Just food, come on. Food as soon as you come in. This yeah, I didn't realise it. This is like a bonus section. Yeah, it's not the grocery aisle, but they show you a lot of different types of food and things they've got on offer as soon as you walk. So what things we got, like cereal? Yeah, we've got cereal. Some snacks. I know these are vegan because we had them in our Christmas Eve box, didn't we, Jojo? Mm -hmm. Um, um, excuse me. What? Do you see any food here? Jojo thinks Lego is food now. Remove him. Just to confirm as well, guys, even though we said like grocery shopping, we're only focusing on food, so not cleaning products or other household no products. Just paper. food. Yeah. And no oh. Lego. Pretty standard thing in the supermarket, isn't it? Start of all the fresh fruit and veg. Okay. We like our fruit and veg. They've got watermelons. That's quite good value as well. 1.19. These are 2.99. Is that per watermelon or weight? That's per watermelon. Okay. That's quite, that's pretty good. Should we grab one? Well, let's, that's, I feel like that's a luxury for us. And that's, that's three pounds <laughs> of budget. So let's get them. That's 10% like, of the budget let's done. Let's get the more staple type things first. So we're getting those tomatoes then. So it's a no to any other melons, yeah? Melons are luxury when you've got a 30 pound budget. Well, we'll see what- oh, easy. How much, well, yeah, 159, 169. That's oh, we're not, even, we're not even counting this. We're about two Yeah, you've got to add it up, add it up. We're about two pounds in Sainsbury, so that's all right. Okay. okay, okay. That's quite good. Oh, are they, all this spinach here. I mean, look, that's quite a big bag as well. That is a very big bag. Do you get that? I or? get that and one of these. Both? Yeah, we'll get both. Okay. And what you got there? Cucumbers. Cucumbers? Okay. Um, Do we need so, two or 75p? Should we just get one? I think we should just get one, yeah. We'll yeah. get some potatoes as well. Okay, you've decided you want the mixed grapes, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jojo. This is all you, mate. Come Where on. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Got your easy peelers. We need to look for some juicy ones, like some good ones as well. Make sure they're not mouldy or anything. Yeah, make sure they're not okay, moldy. And they are £1.29. Is that a good price? I'd say just get one pack because yeah. they're normally like a pound in Lidl's or something. Yeah, they're so. about a pound in Lidl's. You know your stuff, don't you? Oh, Bob. 
they do freezer stuff as well not a lot of freezer stuff but some oh, freezer stuff yeah. like an aisle's worth i guess isn't it yeah oh oh yes oh. i yeah the, the <laughs> oh, oh, oh. the vegan cheese oh that's really good price that's been the same price for a while it's um one pound 39 but as you can see it's normally 179. they've also got a dairy free vegan spread oh it's gluten free as well gluten free as well but i don't think we need we, we don't, don't need much, do we? we don't need to use it much yeah they've got another one there as well oh okay what have you found in there like sweet potato fries i'm just seeing because they're the cheapest ones i can see them just need to Sweet potato fries. Is that an essential grocery item? Might be, yeah. I mean, it's like between essential and not essential. It's like the in-between ish, I feel. Sweet potato fries. I do like sweet potato fries, so there you go. What are you looking at there? Onion rings. Are you thinking of adding that, are you? Yeah, we can. Also, garlic bread. I think we should get either one or the other. Half-based as well. I think we should get one or the other. Now listen, I know this isn't specific to the challenge, but it's very rare that you get garlic bread in the supermarket, which is vegan. And I think we oh, owe it to true, everyone actually. on earth yeah. to get it. As we mentioned guys, we're obviously put into the test, can we get our weekly shop here on a budget of 30 pounds? But also for us and for anyone else interested, we're trying to see if, if there's enough for a vegan family as well. And I'm actually quite surprised some of the stuff we found. Oh, you found some more vegan sausages. Vegans we can't eat, they're only £1.39. For those that's of you who buy these, that's very cheap. They're normally two quid or something, right? About that, do yeah. We need, should we just get one pack? No, it's only the three of us now. We only need one pack. She almost seemed disappointed there. They had a whole onion rings, garlic bread and sausage dinner planned. So guys, just to make you aware, we've done like the frozen and fresh food section, but we're about halfway through our budget. So that's half of the budget already, yes. So we've got to be very mindful going forward, especially you. One thing we can be sure of with regarding being vegan, bread's always a safe option. Yeah. Jackpot guys, 60p, reduced rolls. Yes, always when you have a budget, reduced stuff can be really handy. Yeah. She's being seduced by another offer, a two for one pound is this? That's quite good. Those pizza breads. Yeah, I do like these though. These are really nice crackers. But we've got to stick to weekly grocery okay, stuff. Definitely. Organic oat milk. We've had this one before. It's quite good as well. Is yeah. that um, is that a decent price? One twenty. That's very good. Yeah. So now we're heading into snack area. Well, cereal actually. We're here for the cereal. To be honest, any time we've come to Home Bargains, that's all I've really thought of when it comes to food. Is just they do snacks. But you're starting to realise, okay, they do meals and stuff, they don't do. they? They mm. do. And cereal. They've actually got quite a bit of cereal, but it's open. And bags not open inside. Oh, essentials. Check him out, Jojo, with the essentials. No, I'm just having a browse because they're yellow. Jamie Dodges, they're like, what? But I think they're banana ones Banana something. Jamie Dodges? You're a banana. Yeah. Ooh. Shortcake biscuits. Oh, I like how your attitude's changed now all of a sudden. With a banana flavored apple jam. Oh, nice. We won't be getting them, but they're vegan. Are they? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, pasta, pasta. nice. Central. Essential, very so essential. Only 99p. Okay, you can grab that one then. Oh no, this one's 75p. Or do you want to get the whole meal one? Do you want cheaper or healthier? It's up to you. I think get get the organic one. It's not much. There's not much difference between the prices. And if you go over budget, this is all your fault, money. Okay. Organic. Yeah. I did not expect to find anything organic in here. Yeah. Although one of the things I've noticed is that they don't have all the like essentials like you know when like we went to range. asda and tesco's and they have the essential range but i don't like, think they have their own range you can get past for 28p like pack that size that's so the cheapest one 75p think, yeah i don't i'm not sure i'm not sure yeah because it. they because they're not a supermarket they're not going to have their own basic level brand they've just got all known brands that's all yeah but this, they are cheaper like for example that organic yeah silly. true is only 99p and beans oh we've got to get beans got to have beans the cheapest beans they do at 59p that's, that's is that good no <laughs> my gauge on supermarket prices isn't brilliant hers is amazing okay judge you've got to figure out what's the cheapest way to get the beans so yeah, there's what so that's five 59p but they've got some so offers 59. on 59 so this is 395 so that means 
So no matter what, these are definitely cheaper. Okay, get a couple of tins of those then. Okay, this one's better value, Basmati rice. I like this brand as well. But that's too much for a week. We, we wouldn't use that much in a week. And it's so much of the budget as well. Yeah, so we'll go with this one, 189. Found some lentils as well. So yeah, we're heading to real dinner country here, aren't we? Yeah. There's some amazing offers here. Like I said, they haven't got an essentials range, but if you just want to come here for certain offers, then it's brilliant. This is organic virgin coconut oil, and it's £3.49 for 500 mils. That is amazing. That Especially is pretty organic, good. that's really good. What are you considering? Really cheap nuts here. Really good value. I don't need them, but whole chestnuts, only £1.29. But I do need Brazil nuts, so we'll get these. I've just realised why I so associate this place with just doing snacks. I've just counted, they do have about four or five aisles of just snacks, like sweets, chocolate wow. drinks, yeah. Okay, but we're at the fresh stuff now because we didn't get enough fresh stuff originally, so I've got bananas and apples. That is a pound for all those apples, that's really good. Nice. And 89p for bananas, can't moan at that. Snacks for us on the Central Jojo, but as we're having a movie night tonight, we said you can pick a snack, we've got a bit of budget left. I think maybe pick um, some crisps or something, maybe, maybe some yeah. hummus. Maybe some Oh, I remember these. So these are not messing about. We took those on holiday with us, didn't we? What they've about those? Got, yeah, they've got popped. Quite, they've got quite a lot of vegan friendly um, snacks as well here. But these are our favourite. So I think we have done all we can with our £30 budget. So we're going to go to the checkout now and then we'll get it all home and then we'll show you guys what we got. And if we pass the test, did we get whole week shopping under budget as vegans? Mm. So we're back guys, we've got all of this food out. Jojo feels like he's did his part, so he's going to play with his marble run. So as you can see, this is our haul. Everything we got with a 30 pound budget. That's if we actually stayed on budget, which we will let you know very soon. But first, I really want to talk, to, I really want to talk to you about, do you feel that this is enough food to last a week? If we were buying nothing else, do you think this is enough? Um, so yeah, I was trying to think about this. I was thinking about things like there's pasta, there's lentils, there's uh, chips, sausages, potatoes, maybe Lots. five dinner meals. Yeah, I feel like we got a lot of staples. I feel like the salad, that's a huge bag. Yeah, spinach. that would probably last us a week if you had a bit every night. Yeah, and this one and this other bag. We've got a good amount of fruit. So if you want to have just a bit of fruit every day, probably got, yeah, like maybe five, maybe six dinner meals bread and cereal for breakfast. But this cereal though, the I think wouldn't maybe last us a week. No. Last us a few days maybe. Yeah. I mean, you got rice there. I don't think you'd use all that rice in one go. So maybe you can get two meals out of that. So I guess overall, seven days, three three of us, three meals a day. I don't think it'd be enough. You maybe. don't? I think we could just about, I think we could just about live on this for a week. Yeah. We'll put it to the test anyway. We'll start, we'll eat it this week and, and, and see, and we'll let you guys know maybe in a future video if we do one of these again we'll let you know about this one but in general just looking at it we've got we've got a lot of staples we've got a lot of bread we've got four frozen things we've got the sausages we got onion rings garlic um, bread chips sweet potato fries yeah some of these things i don't know if we would always get like we might opt for more potatoes than buying sweet potato fries. I don't know why. Yeah, but doing this experiment, what I found for any of you guys who are on a budget and vegan, or even if you're not vegan, if you're just on a budget and you're thinking of going somewhere like that to do your grocery shopping, I would say don't do your grocery shop, all of your grocery shopping. Yeah, not all of it. No. There because, are certain choice items you could go for. Yeah, I would say if you're on a budget, like we have been before in our lives, I would say shop around. I would say go to somewhere like Asda because if you yeah. if you cast your mind back to when we did a £30 spend at Asda using their essentials range, there was so much more food. Yeah, yeah there, there was loads so of stuff. So much more mm. for £30. So, so yeah, and there might be certain things which are always going to be better at a supermarket. Like you said about pounds. Pasta. You yeah. get the 20 p packs of pasta. This one was 70 p, the cheapest one, wasn't it? Exactly. However, I would say use home bargains for somewhere to shop around and get bargains because they had some fantastic offers. I showed you a few examples. I mean, I could have shown you loads of examples. The coconut oil. Yeah. I've never seen organic coconut oil that 
that cheap before. Yeah, so there's certain products. Even this actually, was it? Is it a kilogram of pasta that's organic? 500 grams of, uh, yeah, organic was 99p. That's a really um, good price, the yeah, milk. These milks, £1.19 for organic oat milk. I mean, that's- And you would be spending about 250 to three quid for the equivalent, right? Yeah. Elsewhere. Yeah. And these are a known brand as well, so. Yeah. And that's also weird because they're not a specific supermarket. Home bargains don't have their own basic range. Yeah, like yeah. for example, yeah, the cheapest beans we got, as you saw, were 59p, whereas you can get beans for 24p in some places. Yeah, I felt the fresh food was really cheap. So you could you could always go there and get your fresh food at a really good price there. Yeah. If you're a person that's able to shop around, if you're able, if you've got quite a few supermarkets where you live and you're able to do that and you've got a home bargain, definitely go there for the deals. You could stock up, get things like the coconut oil, buy, buy five of them, do you know? Yeah. Put them in your pantry if you have space, put them in your cupboard and you know you'll save an absolute fortune but yeah that's just one example but there were I, there were so many examples but yeah i i definitely i feel that we could probably live on this for a week yeah maybe i think it'd be a stretch but yeah we'll just have to see won't we and like i said we can maybe update you in a future video similar to this i mean what we could have done um is probably got less of the maybe we could have got one milk and more potatoes. yeah you could have maybe swapped out or tweaked it a bit yeah we could have. we wouldn't normally get garlic bread there's probably better way the money could be spent for something that would last yeah longer. but maybe. you want you you do want to have some variety though yeah, we got snack one snack just because we're having a movie night tonight yeah you could not have that snack and then have another pack of lentils we could have easily yeah. bought another thing a uh, pack of lentils yeah it's okay so i think mind. it can maybe be done maybe. i think for a family three it can actually be done but i wouldn't recommend it you could get a lot more if you go to somewhere like asda get their basic range but come to the home bargains definitely for yeah. the deals right should we see if we stayed in budget then yes now i'll be honest we got just over halfway of our budget and the calculator on the phone I accidentally cleared everything. Yeah, but it's okay. So I had to guess from there on was right. okay, roughly from half. Okay, we more or less stayed in budget. Thirty pounds seventy p. I'm quite surprised at that. Yeah. Okay, so we, yeah. Seventy p over, so. And mine was, yeah, that's not too bad. We did all right. But no, I'm glad we did this experiment though. I like experiments that involve buying food. No, it's good for you guys. We love sharing this stuff with you guys because yeah. I know a lot of you really appreciate these types of videos. And we'd love to hear if there are any other places, which maybe are not obvious, like home bargains for food. Any other places you would like to see us do something similar, 30 pound budget, vegan food, just see what food options they have there. Let us know in the comments below what other places, because we're up for the challenge, aren't we? Yeah, and do you think 30 pounds, pounds is a reasonable budget? But the reason we often will go to 30 pounds is because we know it can be done at Asda. Obviously, you've changed, you might change your budget according to if you've got a bigger family. Yeah. But that is it for another video, guys. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate you tuning in and we will see you all in the next video. Just remember that no matter where you guys are in the world, you always stay free. And just keep rising.